You're watching the Dropouts podcast, and I'm here with Young Cap. Young Cap. Talk to me nice, I'ma end your fucking life. I don't care about my exes, hope their bitches fucking die. I only go outside just to get a fucking fight. There is not a single fucking human that I like. So, tell the people a little bit about you, like, where you from? Shit, I'm, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin and shit, up north. I moved down here. Well, really, I moved to Virginia first, and then I moved down here in like twenty. I don't even remember, like twenty thirteen, something like that. Then ever since then, I just been down here chilling. Went to school and shit. Dropped out, and just started doing shit to get bread. Basically, started making music. Well, I, I always been writing music since I was a kid, since I was like five, because my uncle, he used to do music, and he had made this one song, and he had showed it to me and my brother when we was kids, and then since then, he helped me write my first rhyme and shit, and then ever since then, I used to just write rhymes, and then I just started recording when I was like, I started recording off my phone when I was like 13 or 14, and then since then, I just been evolving my craft, trying to come up with shit and be authentic. Hell yeah. Authenticity is like mad important with that shit. I think it's dope how you said you started with your phone. The way I started was me and my homie. <laughs> we would get two computers. I would get I would bring my computer, he'd bring his computer. We'd play the beat off of one's computer and record straight on the SoundCloud like SoundCloud has a record audio button Hell and yeah. we would just like spit that way. Facts. But I feel like that's how you know you're going to be, like, a person doing it. Because, right. like, you know, even before you were, like, in the studio, you were, like, one way or another, like, I'm, I'm making music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. And even, like, when I first moved down here, it was with my uh, my stepbrother and shit. And he used to sing and like that. And then I started singing with him. And then uh, he had met one of his homeboys named Robin. Uh, uh, what was his name? I forgot his name. But it was a light-skinned dude. And um, he used to be with uh, Cameron Butler and shit. Um, Rob? Robert? Yeah, Robert. Robert. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Robert. Light skin <laughs> man. Y'all, we, yeah. we used to go to his crib and record and shit when I, was, when I first came down here. Yeah, that shit was lit. Hell yeah. It was pretty fun. Damn, that's what's up. Hell yeah. And then I eventually got my own little... Well, actually... I went to like Santana. He had a setup and shit in his uh in his shed. So I used to pull up over there mm-hmm. before I eventually just got my own shit. Where even before I even got my own shit, he came and moved into my crib and just had his setup there. So I would just record his shit. Yeah. And then when he when he moved to Florida and shit, I eventually uh got my own little setup and started figuring out how to fucking mix my shit and everything. That's what's up. That's dope. Like, especially when you get to, like, be more hands-on with your stuff and, like, you know, I guess, like, have more control over it. I feel like, as an artist, like, it's always best to record your own shit because you could, you you take your time with it. You're, like, especially when you don't got to be on the clock, you know what I'm saying? When you're, like, buying studio time, you got to finish a Hell song yeah. in X amount of time, whatever, whatever. So, right now, you're mixing and mastering all your own stuff? Yeah. Hell yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, it be taking it be taking some time. Well, not not really. It don't really take me as much time now to like get it good sounding good since I like did that shit the first time. Ever since then, everything just sounds clean and smooth. But I also want to figure out how to make shit sound crazy and get all those crazy sounds going and yeah. shit like that. Right now, it's just all basic and it's 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 good. But at the same time, I want to learn how to get crazy sounds like just weird shit going on shit man youtube bruh you literally saw me like get stuck on logic and be like all right i gotta look on youtube and figure some shit out like majority of the stuff i know how to do is literally youtube like the hardest part about a lot of shit on on like figuring it out is like figuring out how you want to word it 
Yeah. Like if you're trying to look for a certain effect, like how do you explain the effect in words to find that tutorial? But Hell I promise yeah. you, bro, that tutorial is out there. You want like you want to do reverse reverb? Look that shit up. You want to do like okay. auto tune? Oh, and the okay, you use Logic, right? Yeah. Here's a um a thing to go to when you're going to your plugins. Go to modulation. Uh huh. And just look through those. Those are just weird ass noises. Bet. This weird like it like weird shit like there's this i'll show you after this but okay. there's this thing called a flanger and it's just like it's just weird it, it turns your voice almost into an instrument not even instrument to like sounds okay. like it puts your voice through filters right. and then sometimes like your voice isn't even a voice anymore it's just like beeps and shit oh, like some tight. of them literally it's like beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. like it, it's weird <laughs> shit bro facts hell yeah we gotta see what's up with that Hell yeah. I fuck with the weird noises. When I'm producing, I like to use a lot of like, just like weird background noises and shit like that. Hell yeah. There's this one noise on Logic called Space Insects. I fucking love that shit. It literally sounds like what like bugs would sound. Like you see how like crickets and shit sound? Uh -huh. It's like if there were insects in space. That's what that shit sounds like. Type just shit. like just weird noises. Like if you were in space and you heard it because it's not like it sounds like an environmental noise. Yeah. So you're in space. If you heard that shit, you'd be like, what the fuck? Like Facts. now there's bugs out here. Like you don't even see them. You just hear them type shit. Yeah. Like when you're like near a creek or some shit like that. Hell yeah. Yeah. We got to check that one out too. That sounds shit. That sounds crazy. Sound like some trippy shit. Yeah. That's what I be trying to aim for, too. I be trying to have, like, trippy shit and be painting visuals with my vocals and shit like that. Mm. So when niggas listen to my music, when people listen to my music, um, like, they can get a visual in their mind of what I'm speaking. Like, sometimes I just be saying just random ass shit or how I be feeling when I'm tripping. Like, Yeah. You talk crazy. about trippy stuff a lot. Would you, uh, what, you call yourself a, an avid tripper? You like going on trips? You like vacationing? Hell yeah. Most definitely. You think that inspires a lot of your, your music? Yeah, and also my daily life and shit inspires my music. And also I be trying to paint the trippy aspect of me and shit. So yeah. What you mean? Like elaborate on that a little more. Like what do you mean when you say you try to paint the trippy aspect of you? What it, what... I'm not asking you to, like, define your art, but, like, in a way, if you can, since you're saying it's beyond okay. the art, it's you. Like, what do you mean by that? Really, just just how I feel and how, how my brain is wired just from me having psychedelic experiences and shit. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's just a feeling and, and just, like, I don't really know, just, like, a state of mind almost yeah. that I'm in and shit, like... When I was off fucking shrooms, I did like two G's of these fucking real strong strain and shit. And that shit had me feeling crazy. Like, not like like bad, but yeah, like yeah, it was yeah. good. And it was just, I can't like, I couldn't even feel my body damn near. Like, and then I, when I started peeking, like, I felt like my soul was trying to get out of my fucking body. <laughs> like, my head felt like it was lifting or some shit. Yeah. That shit was crazy. I was like, <laughs> wow. That was crazy. That sounds like, uh, I've never experienced, like, ego death, but that sounds like what people be saying it, it feels like before. I'm not going to lie. My first time ever having a psychedelic experience, I had an ego death. Or, I woke up the next day and was like, I will never be the same again. <laughs> and I never have. Yeah. The shit was just crazy. It, I, don't, I don't know. I was like, what? I was like 16 and I took a tab, just one tab of acid and yeah. shit. And that shit just changed me, bro. Yeah, not I. I definitely like tabs. Honestly, it was it was because of tripping why I even started the dropouts. You know, it was it was about dropping out of societies like predetermined notions of what you're supposed to be like all that shit. Yeah. It was really you know, and it, it it. But I I when I when I say ego death, I mean like people be saying that like in the moment they think that they're actually going to die. Yeah, like they're just sitting there like oh shit I'm dying. Like people be scared yeah. because like they think they're dying but then they realize like it's just their sense of self dying but like yeah i didn't even feel like i was dying i just felt i felt like i just felt like a piece of knowledge was just yeah so many pieces of knowledge was just put into my brain when i was tripping bro and that was my first time and that shit was just crazy it, it literally changed me 
like to the point where I don't even I I don't really understand how I was back then. Like everything nah, yeah. now was just like it feels like blessings and some of it curses and like shit's just life, bro. Nah, yeah, I think tripping is it definitely has a lot of like benefits. I think a lot of people it it ends up being like a beautiful thing for because like like uh I don't know. I I feel like one thing tripping does, I one one thing I try to tell myself while I'm tripping is don't get stuck in the mirror because I feel like my trip is like a experience in a mirror like mm-hmm. i feel like i get a very good look at myself and like the kind of person i am you know what i mean yeah like i feel like when you're tripping you can't like lie to yourself yeah that honestly that's what what got me on to my like i don't know different kind of beliefs with spirituality and shit because yeah, yeah. i was tripping and i was <coughs> thinking about praying and i was like all right if you pray you close your eyes and you do that shit and then i was done praying right uh-huh. but i was just still like just vibing so i kept my eyes closed and then i was just like thinking to myself yeah and then i was like wait i'm doing the same exact shit this feels the fucking same what the fuck is going on you know what i mean yeah and then i started just kind of like really like I don't know, feeling like everyone like has this in them. Like you know every you you know who you are to your core. You can't lie to yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. and and I don't know, tripping really just that what's what's that word? I think it's sonder. It's like the realization that like every single person has a life just as complex as yours. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think tripping really like set that in for me and made me have that change of change of life almost like an ego death kind of thing but just thinking of like like i'm not i'm not the type of person who who wants to get off on anyone or a person who just wants to get myself up or whatever whatever i I don't i don't like i'm not a like shit talker i'm not a whatever whatever you know what i'm saying but like i think that that really is because of like psychedelic experiences and shit like that that's low-key a reason why i don't even acknowledge half of the shit that i see now because like literally before i like started meditating and shit i i fucking like i used to just watch snapchat and like shit that people would post would just literally piss me off (laughs) and like make me talk shit like literally and then i'm just like like after i I was like before i started meditating i'm like i'm about to cut social media i'm i'm not about to post i'm not about to get on instagram facebook snapchat and i literally stopped doing that for like a month after that month i just felt like different like i had somewhat of an ego death bro mm-hmm. and i just felt different and then i just started meditating and then now it's just like i just don't acknowledge that shit it's like oblivious to me like even though people just be posting living in a facade and shit living a fake life in another word that shit it, it it it's just crazy like i don't even be paying attention to that shit no more i just really just stay in my own lane yeah no, I feel that. The people I used who fuck with me, I fuck with them, we chat, shit. Yeah. I used to really, like, feel like that, like, get annoyed with shit I saw on social media. Yeah. But then, and it kind of goes back to tripping. Whenever I'm tripping, everything I watch seems like it's, like, some Cartoon Network shit. Yeah. Like, every single commercial is, like, are they trying to be funny? Like, whatever, whatever. <laughs> so, like, Hell when yeah. I be, like, I be looking at people's stories, and I just be seeing people do the dumbest shit. But, like... It kind of, it's a little funny to me. I'd be like, yo, this really is like just what's going on. You know what okay. I mean? Like it'll be someone doing some like just dumb shit. And it's just like, yo, people really do this shit. And it's borderline entertaining. It's almost like when you watch uh, anything like reality TV, they yeah. don't show you people who make like good decisions. Usually they show you people who are just doing dumb shit. You know what I Type mean? Shit. And then I'm like, damn, like this is just reality TV to its like core. I just be checking in these random little channels. Uh, yeah. Like, wow, this is what the, I it's, bro. There's people I don't even really know, but they just added me on Snapchat, add back type shit, and just looking at their story, and it's like Hell this is yeah. just what you do. But it's it. I don't know. I I I have like a love hate relationship with social media, like you yeah. say. Like I don't. I hate the fallacy, like the fake shit, like the the highlight reel of life. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like 
I like rawness, which is a part of the reason why I've learned to appreciate people's like dumb shit. Because yeah, I'm yeah. like, at least you're keeping it real. Like, at least you're like, like you're dumb as fuck and like you're ignorant and like I don't like you, <laughs> but I'm glad I know I don't like you. Type shit. Like, you know, you weren't yeah. faking it and I thought you were someone else and I think that I fuck with you, but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I, I, like you said, like the very first thing you said when we got on here being like authentic, yeah. like, you know, I fuck with that shit. Hell and that yeah. made me like social media a little more, just being more authentic like you know what i mean it's like yeah. uh this i'm just social me i don't know it's just weird it's yeah, really yeah. weird like you you you'll unfollow someone and they'll feel so like offended yeah that, honestly bro when i got on instagram one day i was like fuck it i'm literally unfollowing everybody that's not like a bro to me or mm -hmm. that's not connected to me in the music world because in all honesty i don't even want to follow i don't want to follow just hella random people i, yeah. I want to see content that i would like to see like music and shit like that's the only thing that really be on my timeline on instagram is really just people f for, like that's rapping or people that i like to hear or like local rappers around here that i fuck with personally on the level and shit like that like and that's how it is yeah now nah, i feel that hell yeah I, but I feel like that's what it should be. Like, why would why should you follow things you don't want to see? It's yeah. like one of those things where it's like, I don't know, because it's you know, it's a the world's weird. It's like, it, and I I feel it especially with like being a musician. Like, if someone doesn't, I don't want I don't want people to support my music just because they're my friend. Yeah, type shit. Like, if you like this, listen to it. If you don't, like, it's cool. But like, I'm trying to cater to this audience. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So it's like. I don't know. I don't know. But I feel you, though, because, like, I do like to just see shit I like. And I do like to just see my homies. But I don't know. I, I'm, I'm the type of person where, like, the music could be great, but that doesn't impress me because I think there's so much great music. I'd be like, who is this individual? Like, I'd be, I like to look at our artists as, like like interviews and shit see who they are and yeah. then listen to the music and like i like it more because i feel like this is a person that like i value and like you know i care oh, about shit. like what they're saying or whatever whatever because yeah. you know like or or like i can resonate with their experience or whatever whatever like you you know you get that in the lyrics and things but like for example you hear a song that's like great song great singer but there's so many great songs great singers but like there's still only one cap only one Samaj, there's only one whoever, whatever. Hell so yeah. like, you know, I, I, I that that that's more so how I like view things because I feel like majority of the music I listen to is me and my friends, but that's just because like those are the people I know like the best. Yeah. And then there's always artists that like I really like, but whenever I really like an artist, it's because I'm like, damn, this person does like cool shit outside yeah. the music. Yeah, yeah, that's you know? that's how I feel too. That's how I feel. In all honesty, because as you as you said that, I was just realizing like most of the people I follow like shit about them that makes them cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> shit, man. What's your favorite? Uh, what's what's one of your favorite like tripping stories? Something that happened while you were either tripping or super smacked. I can think of one time that was dope for me. I was hiking and I was on top of a mountain. <coughs> and it was like literally being on top of a mountain thinking about like I was looking at Charlotte. I started peeking while I started peeking Crowders like I was on top <laughs> of that mountain. And then I'm just looking at Charlotte and it was like trippy because I was like I'd be there. Hell yeah. And then... And then uh, the fucking, the trees just looked like they were like uh, like water, like waves just coming in. Uh, like, and I was on top of like, like just this mountain of water. And it was just crazy. Just like, yo, the thing I like about tripping is like, this is reality, but it's not no more. Like, it makes like regular shit just so much more like, di like, interesting different like yeah. like sometimes when i i remember one time i was tripping there's just no more straight lines for a couple hours oh yeah that's every time for you me. know what i mean no just more just straight lines. and you're just like should be waving yeah nah but one time uh i was at myrtle beach uh tripping i took like seven hits yeah i was myrtle beach is such a wild place to trip 
Why? Wait, why were you at Myrtle Beach? Just on vacation or on some like senior week shit? Yeah, or on some? yeah it was just on some vacation shit. Okay. We was just chilling, me and my girl. And we we uh went to the restaurant. And then after we ate, we just pulled out the, uh, the fucking, because there was like uh, the liquid on uh, Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. So we just ate those and waited in the restaurant for an hour. As soon as we started tripping, we started walking the strip. And then everything was just fucking funny, bro. Like so many people, like so many different people, just different actions. Like yeah. shit is just funny. Like literally watching the population <laughs> just, that shit was just crazy. And then once we got to the um, hotel, we we're just chilling, smoking, and then I just started looking. I just started looking at the waves coming in on the fucking sand, and that shit was literally like the way the waves was coming in. It made the water look like platinum, like liquid, like metal, bro. Like Damn. I was just looking at the water, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like I was so amazed. Like I ain't even blink when I was. I was just staring at it <laughs> for twenty minutes, and that shit. And then the next morning, I, I just woke up and was just standing at the water. I was like, that was fucking crazy. Because, like, la- like, that shit was yeah. just so crazy. And it's then- funny you say that metal thing. Because one time I was tripping and um, everything was real metallic. Like, every time I trip, there's kind of a, like, theme. Mm-hmm. Like, it's weird. Like, sometimes it's like a word. Once I was tripping and the theme was conflict. <laughs> like, it just kept, like, coming back. Like, Like, just the idea of conflict. Of, like, for example, of, like someone's conflict might be like all right for example you're trying to rob me hypothetically right Uh and then i'm stopping you now you're running into conflict because you were just trying to do this and do whatever you know what i'm saying Uh so it was just like i was just kind of like thinking about just the concept of conflict and like (laughs) who's really the bad guy or like whatever whatever like just because you're causing the conflict doesn't necessarily mean you're bad or vice versa if you're not causing the conflict doesn't make you good or i don't know but one of one of the trips i was just everything was just shiny and metallic so that was just like a vibe i was on like like uh, i don't know if you saw that music video i I did did. but yeah with the with the foil and shit i was just like yo i like metally shit (laughs) like i like that shows but but yeah as soon as you said that yeah i vision that fucking video Mm -hmm. yeah man but but yeah you so next morning you thought that shit was crazy yeah but nah, I was then I was gonna say something about this other trip that I had recently when I was when I went to Gatlinburg for yeah. my girlfriend's birthday. All right, so like we was tripping over the night, but then like the next day, like I was still tripping because I didn't go to sleep. So like we was just like, for once, when I got in the car and started driving, like I was literally like freaking out on the inside because <laughs> the roads are so small because you're just driving in the like it's literally in the mountains. Yeah. So like the roads were small as shit and that shit I was thinking I was about to fall off the side or something. <laughs> I was sitting there going slow as hell and shit. That shit was crazy. But then uh we went into the a mirror maze and um it was just like neon colors and shit. Right. And then like I was literally getting lost in in the mirror maze. Like, that shit looked infinite. Like, <laughs> I just wanted to sit in there for so long. Like, I was literally just standing there just lost, bro. Like, that was so crazy. Like, it literally felt like I was in a different world. Like, it felt like I was in space almost. Word. Just because, like, it was so infinite. Like, it looked like it never ended. And I was just kept seeing myself, like, straight down. I could see myself straight down that way, see myself straight down that way, just infinite. Yeah, and while just, you were tripping? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, while I was tripping. And low-key, <clears throat> I was literally getting lost because... I was tripping still, so, like, shit was still waving and shit. Like, I couldn't see, like, the straight lines on the fucking did mirrors you, and did shit. Did you have a little bit of a panic of, like, yo, I'm dead ass lost in this little maze? Low-key, whenever my girlfriend walked off and, like, I could, <laughs> all, I could see was, all I could see was myself. I couldn't even see her no more. And then, like, when she walked off, hella fucking people just started popping up. No cap. And I was getting And scared. you don't even know when this I, the real people because you just Yeah, see the bro. I just seen hella shit. fucking people. I'm like, babe, you need to come back. Like, stop playing with me for real. Like, that shit was so crazy. That, that shit literally freaked me out, bro. Like, yeah, people was looking see. at me like, they was like, who the fuck is this? Like, what is wrong with this dude? And I'm I just like. definitely see that shit. It was, it, that shit looked like millions of people, bro. It looked like I was yeah. in a lost city almost, bro. Bro, yeah, it's probably just like three people who came up, but you just saw like mad bodies. No, the thing is, it was a family of people. That's what like, I was. It was like, oh eight, it was God. like eight of them. And then that shit was crazy, bro. I was like, whoa. I was like. That shit was just crazy. And then I got out of there. I was like, damn, I low-key want to go back in there. <laughs> like, they had Try music again. playing and shit. Yeah. Like, loud as fuck. The, like, the lights was just vibing with the music and shit. That shit was crazy. It was amazing. 
One time I was tripping and uh, I went to fucking uh, PetSmart uh-huh. <laughs> and like I I saw I was so I was by the fish and shit and then I caught myself like just holding my breath because I'm around all this water and I was like man let me get the fuck away from these fish over here like just holding my breath for no reason <laughs> and shit I'm dead and then I go over by the crickets and then like I just I'm just seeing them move around and I was like nah I'm, I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna watch this for too long I'm start dead. feeling them on me and shit oh my god that that was one of the first times I like. I was able to, like, see the auras of people or, like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, people had, like, colors to them, like, like deeper than their skin. Like, you could, yeah. like, it was, it was it was wild. I remember my friend Armani was just real green, but, like, it was cool. Right. <laughs> you yeah. know, Ar- you probably know Armani. Uh, she, went to, she went to our school. I'm not sure. But she was fucking green. Uh, my friend Matt. <laughs> you know Matt Cobble? Yeah. He was pink. I'm dead. Yeah, that shit was that shit was a vibe. That's what's up. Alright man, well I really appreciate you on the on the podcast. Yes, sir. Anything you wanna say before we sign off? Shit, I just wanna give a shout out to Santana and my boy Samaj. That's really it though. Shout out to Santana. Else, y'all know who I fuck with, H O V. You already know. Much love to everybody. Hell yeah. Alright. Peace. Thanks for watching today's podcast. If you liked today's episode, like, comment, and subscribe. On this channel, we'll be putting out a new podcast every Tuesday, a new vlog every Thursday, and a lyric video from myself every Sunday. The podcast will mainly be me speaking to my friends, but I also want to use this as a way to make new friends. And on this podcast, we're talking about everything. Art, music, sex work, politics, fucking food, drugs, everything under the sun. So if you want to be on the podcast, DM us at the dropout 704 or DM me personally at Samad Sinclair. Hit that subscribe button. Come on, what you waiting for? Ha, nice. Appreciate it. There's not a single fucking human